Hey you guys, Dr. Sharma here, and we're about to get really real. I'm literally in so much student debt. After finishing up undergraduate, with luckily without any debts, I start medical school without any means of paying it off by myself or having family like some people luckily have to pay it off and have tasked myself with having to pay off a huge amount of accrued loans, a price to pay for going into a rather selfless field and putting off gratitude early off in life in order to help people with their health. A lot of people do it, a lot of people choose to do it, and some of you may be watching this either not having started medical school or in medical school now or may even be a resident and are freaking out saying WTF oh my god, I have so many loans too. Med schools similar to law schools have increased in tuition, greatly exceeding that of inflation percentage increases. The average medical school debt is $189,000 in 2017, and the national overall student debt in the United States is $1.5 trillion owed by 45 million students. Uh, knowledge is power, I guess. Again, if you're watching this considering going into graduate school, don't let me sway you into doing what you really want to do. There's options and that's exactly why I'm making this video. Remember that you're not alone and there's always gonna be help for you out there somewhere, so definitely go try to look it up. And I'm gonna talk about a lot of things in this video as well. First of all, if you are in medical school right now, you need to be filing taxes. This is gonna be super important and especially during your fourth year, filing taxes before you become a resident. Because unless you are bartending down the street from your medical school and having some sort of income, most of you are not gonna have any income and therefore can file taxes with zero dollars in income. That's gonna be super important coming up when you have to start and repaying some of your loans. I'm gonna to get to that in a second, but now you need to be able to refinance all of your loans with a servicer that will allow you to make income-driven payments. The most popular one and the most important one that you have to know about is gonna be Fed Loan Servicing. Fed Loan Servicing is basically the government saying, hey, we as the feds, we're gonna take up that financial debt that you owe to these other private lenders, take up that debt, and then allow you to have a lower interest rate and be able to give you a repayment option that's gonna be income-driven. That's gonna be the second most important thing is gonna be enrolling in an income-driven repayment plan. If you were to do the standard repayment plan for something like $190,000 in debt, you'd be paying close to like two to $3,000 a month. That's totally not possible with a resident salary. So they're gonna take this into account and say that because you made $50,000 a year, your income is gonna be such that you're gonna be making payments at a lower price and Fed Loan Servicing is going to subsidize those accrued interests for you. Now, some of you might be th thinking about PSLF, which is the Public Student Loans Forgiveness Program. The people who have actually been able to cash this out has been about two years ago was that cycle. And it's a program that people are saying may not really follow through, but I think people are definitely gonna be getting more information this upcoming year about whether or not it's working. Regardless, when you're a resident, you should be going ahead and doing your certification form every year so that by the end of your 10 years, if you happen to be in an academic program the entire time, you'd be able to cash out and tell them, hey, I wanna go ahead and apply for PSLF at the end of that. PSLF is essentially making 120 payments or 10 years worth of 12 month payments, 12 times each year, while you're working for in a government or nonprofit organization, such as residency or going into an academic program after residency. Now that was just a brief flyby and overview about essentially how much financial debt that I'm in, but having a plan for it. And if you guys have any other questions or comments, please like and subscribe, comment below. Yeah. Good luck.